Hey there, hey there, Chris here at the trailhead for High Rock Trail number 13 on the ultimate Garrett County Adventure map. And one thing I like to highlight about how I laid the, the map out is, you know, you can kind of flip this over back and forth. You have the legend, and you can flip that over there if you if you want that on the other side. Um, but we are here at number 13. We're at the trailhead. So we're kind of on one side of the road. The best way to get to the trail is on the other, but there's not a lot of good parking there. But we'll be taking this up. This is a short-ish trail. Uh, great, great view, really cool area. And it's such a beautiful, nice day that I figured this is a good time to do this hike. Okay, probably maybe a little less than a half a mile in. And uh, this is generally the way the trail is gonna be the whole time we're going up it. And it is up, up, up the whole way. Old uh, Forest Service Road. But I'll be honest, the trail, not very exciting, but this is one of those ones, the reward at the end is definitely worth it. So it gets, this one, this area is fairly steep, you know, it gets steep and then level and steep and level as you climb up the mountain, but I promise you it'll be worth it. Okay, here's the intersection with the Big Savage backpacking trail. You see the white blaze on the tree over there. So we're looking up. There's a white blaze right there. Spencer's getting ready to go down the trail. And you can see a white blaze, maybe over here on that trail as well. So, the Big Savage Trail is, I would say, the only decent backpacking trail in Garrett County. It's a little ironic. Um, we have so much public land, but it is pretty fragmented, so it's tough to get a nice long stretch of trail that, you know, if you're backpacking, you probably want to... 20 miles probably you do 10 miles a day you want to at least a one night overnight um, you can camp with all the stuff you've been carrying around <laughs> so thanks to some of the mapping stuff I've been working on I've got a couple of plans ideas to maybe see if I can rough out a 40 mile loop that take some existing trails and then does a little bushwhacking to connect them up. So I think that'd be cool to have a little bit more of a backpacking trail capability in the county. But for right now, that stretch of the Big Savage is about it. And it's kind of unfortunate as well because it's just a circuit trail. So you have to do a fair amount of shuttling to get that so you can drop off and pick up at the beginning and end but we are starting to get close to the top so i'll sign back on when we get up to the top okay we made it to the top and yeah the first thing you will definitely see is the fire tower there uh these were used by the forest service to watch for fires forest fires and uh, they become pretty much obsolete so it looks like this one has been fenced off this used to be something you could just climb right up were you uh, so inclined but looks like <laughs> the DNR has finally decided to uh, take some safety into account and fence this off. 
Oh, or maybe not. Maybe this is just a fact that they don't want people messing with the monitoring up there. Looks like there's some sort of uh, receiver equipment up there. So maybe that's it. But uh, I do have to say, yeah, every time I, I have been up in the fire tower before and every time it seems a little more unsafe. So you can see some of these guy wires are just kind of dangling in the breeze. I remember one time I was up there and the whole thing was just kind of like swaying back and forth. I could see the guy wires getting tight and slack. So um, probably for the best that this is fenced off, but that's okay because right around the bend is a pretty amazing view on itself. So I will not, I'll put on pause here while we, well, maybe not. We can probably get through the brush here. It's a little bit of a, you see a little mysterious stone chimney there. And yeah, out on these exposed rocks, it gets very windy. coming out here and you just get a really amazing view. And I've been out here a lot of times, but the visibility pretty amazing today. turbines over there over to the left a little bit I don't know if you can see those on the video those are in Pennsylvania and then this is a lot of Garrett County here you can see we're looking west Not an exciting trail per se, but the view at the end always makes up for it. Well, I have a little plastic bowl I bring with me usually, but I must have lost it or something. So sometimes you just gonna use nature's bowl. Spencer was pretty thirsty after his hike up here. So I uh, just found a nice little rock spot. There's a ton of them up here. You just get this amazing wind erosion that kind of wears out these spots. Um, yeah, it's very windy today, so hopefully I don't get a lot of too much noise. But another very cool feature up here is the remnants of the cabin. So I think before there was even the fire tower, there was a fire watch cabin here. You can see there were four foundation pillars and a cabin here and there was someone whose job it was to keep a watch for fires out here in the forest. Um, remarkably, that chimney is still standing. It's uh, deteriorating a little bit more every year. Uh, one year I came up here with my family, we snowshoed up here actually and towed a little sled full of firewood up and built a fire in the fireplace and it was fully almost fully enclosed at that point so it was the smoke was actually going up the chimney it was kind of seeping out of all the masonry so that was kind of cool but uh yeah it looks like the whole front has kind of crumbled away on that which is too bad very neat cool feature here uh, so come check that out that doesn't look like that has too much longer to live What an amazing spot this is up here. Amazing views. A little bit of wind. Okay, one last video. I just love being up here and checking it out. It seems to 
be ebbing a little bit so you can walk a little bit along this ridge depending how adventurous you are you know there's another little outcropping over there we'll go over this way unfortunately there's never any shortage of morons who uh, feel the need to um, essentially mark their territory like some sort of animal <laughs> I'll just be upfront about that but anyway we've got uh you can walk along these rocks and kind of check out this very cool formation it starts to break up a little bit more as you go along so depending on your level of adventurousness but just some really cool neat things like this it's, you know eroded away i don't know it's almost like a head you got some of these spots where it nice smooth erosions almost looks like another planet on some of these spots and for the true crime aficionados out there this is the site of a you know controversial um, death uh, apparently a couple was out here and the guy fell or was pushed to his death and uh, you can hear more about that fascinating case it's a great uh, podcast chromacast.com and they really dig deep into this whole story but uh, you can kind of see it here you know you got some uh, some some interesting spots and uh, you can almost just feel the the history and uniqueness of this spot okay back at the trailhead for the high rock trail so we are right here and hiked up to the high rock um, observation point up there the fire tower and just a general overall great overlook area where I pointed out we crossed the Red what is marked here as a red trail was blazed with white. That is the Big Savage Trail. Um, I don't kind of get blocked by the, the rest of the map, but you see the Big Savage Trail in the red that kind of falls along the spine of Big Savage Mountain. So overall, you know, the, the saying is it's not about the destination, it's about the voyage. I'm gonna say it's about the destination on this one. Trail is okay. It's just a logging road kind of going up the, the hill. And uh, trailheads, you know, kind of nondescript. But the view and the experience up at the top is what really makes this trail worth it. So I think it was uh, about a mile and a half one way up the hill. And it is all uphill, but coming down is a lot faster and easier and I definitely recommend this trail it's one of my favorites just for the view alone so hopefully I will see some of you up here someday up at the top or out on the trails in the rest of the county Spencer Spencer says bye